let us solve a question on utility maximization the question is on a given evening a person jp enjoys the consumption of cigars which is denoted by c and brandy which is denoted by b according to the function that is utility you know attained by consuming cigars and brandy is equal to 20 c minus c square plus 18 b minus 3 b square we have to find out how many cigars and brandy glasses does he consume during evening and we are being told that cost is no object to, to jp he doesn't care about the cost at all second lately however this person jp has been advised by his doctors that he should limit the glasses of brandy and cigars consumed to five we need to find out how many glasses of brandy and cigars would he consume now okay so we have two questions and let us solve it one by one we are being told that utility that jp will get from consuming cigars and brandy is being given by as 20 c minus c square plus 18 b minus 3b square okay this is the utility function and obviously this person jp will try to maximize his utility from the consumption of uh, you know uh, uh, cigars and brandy and uh, so this is a problem of maximization he wants to maximize utility utility okay so we have to maximize this function which is in two variables c and b here and how do we maximize so what is the first order condition first order condition for maximization maximization is that we take and let's denote it by f okay let us say f is equal to this function so first order condition for maximization requires that the marginal utility let's denote it by f subscript c marginal utility derived from the consumption of cigars should be equal to zero and marginal utility derived from the consume uh, consumption of brandy it should be equal to zero this is the first order condition for maximization so f subscript c means that partial derivative of this utility function with respect to c and when we take this so the derivative of c is one so we will be left with 20 c rather uh, we will be left with 20 only derivative of c is one minus derivative of c square is twice c and we set it equal to zero okay and symmetrically f subscript b means the partial derivative of the given utility function with respect to brandy which is b so derivative of b will be one so we will be left here with 18 minus derivative of b square is twice b so 2 into 3 is 6b and we set it equal to zero so solving this we will get c is equal to 10 i am just trying to say the space here simple thing you can do here to uh, you know solve it and here uh, 6b is equal to 18 which implies b will be equal to 3 so we got two points that is he will consume 10 units of cigars and three glasses of brandy to maximize his utility utility okay so this was only the first order condition but to be sure that and um, this combination will maximize the satisfaction we should also check the second order condition second order condition for maximization requires what will we what will we do simply the uh, we will so we are supposed to find out the second order condition also since we got the two critical pointers that is 10 units of uh, you know cigars and three glasses of beers three glasses of beer rather brandy sorry whether they actually maximize his utility utility we need to check the second order condition so how do we check second order condition simple thing first we take the you know what we call um, second order derivative of the given function that means f subscript double c means differentiating the given function uh, you know twice with respect to c so this is the first derivative now the derivative of the first derivative gives us the second derivative derivative of c is here one so we will be left with only with two similarly f subscript b b minus differentiating this function twice with respect to brandy so this is first derivative f subscript b is this 
its derivative again with respect to b is minus 6 okay also we need to calculate the cross partials okay these are the direct partials second order direct partials we also need to check the second order cross partials so f subscript cb means differentiating the given function with respect to b okay so this is the first derivative now we take the derivative of this function with respect to uh, you know b again since no b is involved here so its derivative is zero and similarly f of bc means partially differentiating this function with respect to c since no c is involved again it, its derivative is here zero okay now we need to evaluate all these things at or rather we need to evaluate these uh, you know for uh, these differentials at the critical point is and we should get a condition that is we need to find out f of cc when we evaluate it at the critical point which is 10 and 3 times then we evaluate these direct partials that is f of bb again at critical point is 10 3 okay and also f of bc is equal to f of cb so we can write f of cb of bc square okay or let's write it here uh, f of cb times f of bc okay and uh, again we evaluate them at the critical point so here you can see when we evaluate this function with respect to 10 and 3 we will get 2 here okay because this function is not a function of uh, c and b here so we will get here minus 2 here we will get minus 6 and here we will get 0 okay here we need to find out and here we can see we get we got here 12 and here we have 0 since 12 is greater than 0 and here we can see that this condition applies that is the product of direct partials is greater than the product of cross partials when this happens and the sign of the direct partials is same we can say that this function achieves its maximum at point is 10 and 3 okay let me be very specific here to make it clear here we got f of uh, b f of cc into f of bb that is the product of direct partial is here we got it greater than the product of cross partial is that is uh, cb into bc when this happens when the product of direct partial is greater than the product of cross partial is and the sign of the direct partial is, is same here it is minus and minus or if it is plus and plus okay we say that the given function achieves its maximum at the critical point that we you know uh, found out okay simple thing when the product of direct partials is greater than the product of the cross partials and the sign of the direct partial is, is same we say the given function achieves its max uh, maximum at the given critical points okay so in fact utility of this jp will be maximized when he consumes 10 units of 10 cigars and three brandy glasses okay this is how we check the second order condition now the second question tells us lately however this jp has been advised by his doctors that he should limit the glasses of brandy and cigars consumed to five okay we have the same utility function utility that he will consume uh, cigars and brandy sorry brandy is being given by is 20 times c minus c square plus 18 times b minus 3 b square okay given this utility utility function also we are being told that here some constraint has been you know imposed that is uh, the number of units of uh, cigars plus the number of units of brandy glasses he should come consume should be equal to 5 okay so here we have the constraint now we need to find out given this situation that he is being told to you know 
uh, restrict the consumption of cigars and brandy to five how will he uh, you know choose the brandy and cigars to maximize obviously his utility so here what will we do in this case we need to uh, rather we need to construct the language's function so he will try to maximize this function subject to this constraint okay so this is the constraint and optimization problem and we apply the language's function okay so i can rewrite this i can rewrite this constraint as uh, five minus c minus b okay is equal to zero and let's multiply it both sides by lambda so it will become lambda times five minus c minus b is equal to zero okay what i am doing to solve this function using language's function first we i rather i set this constraint equal to zero then i multiply it by lambda then i form the language's function which is equal to which is equal to the given utility function that is 20 c minus c square plus 18 b minus 3 b square to this i add this resulting constraint that i constructed that is lambda times five minus c minus b okay this is our leg raise function now to find out the optimal bundles of cigars and brandy he will consume we partially differentiate this function first with respect to cigars so l subscript c means differentiating the given function with respect to cigars okay this leg raises function so derivative of c is here one so you left with 20 derivative of c square is minus 2 c and here derivative of c is minus one so we'll be left with minus lambda and we set it equal to zero i repeat here to find out the optimal bundles of cigars and brandy he will consume we will partially differentiate the given languages function with respect to cigars and brandy and lambda and set them equal to zero simultaneously to find out the optimal bundle okay so when i set it equal to zero it implies 20 minus c is equal to lambda okay Similarly, L subscript B means partially differentiating this function with respect to brandy. So we have here uh, 18 minus derivative of B square is twice B. So 2 into 3 is 6 B. Then we have minus derivative of B is here 1. So we will be left with minus lambda and we set it equal to 0. Solving again, we will get uh, 18 minus 6 B is equal to lambda. And then we need to partially differentiate with respect to lambda so derivative of lambda is here one so you'll be left with pi minus c minus b and we also set it equal to zero let us say this is equation first this is equation second this is equation third let's divide equation one with equation second so we will get here a 20 minus c upon 18 minus 6b is equal to lambda upon lambda which gets now like i said you go yes you go yes sir. so we will rather we are left with 20 minus c is equal to 18 minus 6b or i can rewrite this function is solving this it are on your ego 2 is equal to minus 6b plus c or transposing am i doing it correctly or not Twenty minus c. Okay, I got a minus six b plus two c. Wait a minute. Am I doing it? Here it is twice c. Sorry. Here it is twice c. Okay. So here it is twice c. Okay. And here it is twice c. I sorry for this mistake because here it is twice c okay so let me rewrite this now so we have 20 minus twice c is equal to 18 minus 6b which is 20 minus 18 is 2 which is equal to minus 6b plus twice c transposing so we will get c is equal to when we solve it will be equal to 1 plus 3b okay i don't have the space you can check it out we will get this result here okay so let me show how did i arrive to this thing so here if i solve for c so twice c 
is equal to 2 plus 6b dividing both sides by 2 so this gets cancelled this gets cancelled so 1 plus 2 1s are 2 3s are so 3b so c is equal to 1 plus 3b okay now we need to plug this value uh, c is equal to 1 plus 3b into the third equation so we have 5 minus c is this uh, uh, 1 minus 3b so in place of c i am plugging 1 plus 3b then we have minus b which is equal to 0 so it is 5 minus 1 is 4 uh, minus 3b minus b is minus 4 we're transposing here it will become 4b which implies b will be equal to 1 so he will consume only one glass of brandy and how many units of uh, cigars simply plug b is equal to 1 in this equation so c will be equal to 1 plus 3 into 1 so he will consume four cigars when the doctors have had advised him to constrain the consumption of cigars and brandy okay so he will consume one unit of brandy and say five four units of cigars in this scenario and 10 cigars and three brandies in this situation i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you